it's time for the bell. How many options will you sell? Fire up your platform, get ready to enter. But first, let's get the mindset centered. Hey, hey, let's go. Uh, we're not here to gamble, we're here to trade. We follow the plan, that's how we get paid. Testing, trading, have success. Find what works for you and forget the rest. Stats and probabilities is what we're about. Time to dismiss greed and doubt. Focus on the process, not the money. And the profits will flow like honey. Power our live, let's start the show. Come on, trade hackers, get ready to go. Zero day options, time to make bank. Get locked and loaded, then be ready to plank. Hey. What's up, everyone? Welcome to Power Hour Live on Tuesday, February 6th. Hope everybody's doing good. I posted, and it looks like several others doing the same thing. The old 10-wide Wuga no stop. So I'm just doing it. This is my first time trading it, so I'm just doing a couple contracts just to play along. So I got in on the... My shorts are the 40-45. Got filled at 480. So got that on. I was, I actually had to be away from my computer <clears throat> a lot of the midday. So the only other zero DTE that I did, I've kind of mentioned yesterday, I was testing some, uh, doing some five wide stuff. And so I put a couple of those on this morning. So this one here. Getting close to getting close to max, and then this one here. These are five wide, no stops in the morning. <clears throat> so that's it for me for zero DTE today. Nothing else qualified. VIX was under fourteen, so I didn't do a Rick, which was good because Rick would not be doing well right now. Looks no like one. a good day to be selling zero DTE premium. Had that little flush in the morning and a little flush at about one o'clock. So about almost an hour ago. But other than that, been pretty choppy. Pretty choppy. Chad, how's the, how's the TLC going? Yeah, how's so it? I just got filled on 20% of my power hour number one. So, man, I... First two I put on today, winners, and then I put on a lunchtime number two um, as my lunchtime number one was getting off center, and then this flush happened, and within 10 minutes, it just stopped it out. So it wiped a lot of profits from the whole morning, but trying to get them back now in power hour. So I've got two on. I posted them both. I'm out of 20% on one. So that's where I'm at. So for traditional tranche one, it looks like it'd be inverted. VIX at <clears throat> VIX down a couple percent, then at 13.37. S&P slightly green, NASDAQ down 82, Russell up 11, Dow up 57, gold and silver green, notes and bonds green, 10-year yield down a little over 1.5%, oil up a percent, natty gas down a few percent, grains a little bit mixed, euro and the pound a little bit green, Bitcoin up a couple percent. Uh, no, that... Uh, uh, White Tiger, no, that's those are not in my trade plan. Those are just something that I've been testing a few times this week. I was just looking at them and basically <clears throat> for about a two to one risk to reward, you can cover basically the whole expected move for the day, five wide. So I'm not using any stops and I was going to be away. So I just thought it'd be a good thing to, to put on, assuming price stays within the expected move. Should do pretty good. So basically all I did was <clears throat> put one on at the open 
And then when we had that flush, I put on another one. And so I covered uh, the expected move almost to the upside. And then the second one I put on covers down to 49.20. So about 10 points below the lower expected move. Need a little pullback here. My power hour number two is not looking good. Yeah, San Ray. So my uh, my power hour ten wide trade that I did. That's that's also not on my trade plan. I wasn't gonna trade power hour today, <coughs> just because the premiums are so low, and we're in a normal day, which is not part of my plan. So the uh, ten wide here is just the forty puts, forty five calls, and the wings are ten wide. Somebody posted the back test earlier. Dan B did. If you scroll up, Dan B posted the uh, the details of that one. May get stopped out on power hour two here. This push up. Get, got whipsawed with this push down, and now the grind up. Did not do any futures trading today. I was going to, if it flushed through these lows down to the expected move, I was going to get long for a bounce, but it never quite got down there. Vic's still coming down. So looks like things want to continue to get strong. We haven't seen all-time highs in two days, Chad. <laughs> yeah, we'll just soon not see him for another two. All-time highs from Friday, still 49.75. I did do a one, two double calendar earlier today. That's pretty much, that's yeah, up a tiny bit. My three, four, and my six, seven, my six, seven from Friday, and my three, four from Monday, they were both up six to 8% earlier. Both of those back down to basically break even. Mm, let's push up. So this push up though may allow me to get on another one. I'm looking at the 4950, 4945s. Um, it's not getting me five dollars a premium, unfortunately. So we'll wait. Still got my time fly on a couple days ago. I did end up adding a, I added a, uh, a diagonal a little sooner than normal today. In other words, price wasn't beyond the upper long strike on the fly, but I did that just in anticipation of potential higher prices just because we're so strong. So I've got the uh, full package on. It's up a little bit <clears throat> or about break even, I guess. So I got some short premium in MES from yesterday and then the other one that I've rolled the puts up on once. <clears throat> We're positive after adjustments on the QQQ. 
by a bit. Rut getting a little bounce today, still in a rut duck and an SPX duck from yesterday. Use a nice big down push here. Yeah, still can't get five dollars of premium on a power hour number three tranche, so I'm just gonna sit and wait. On my morning ones, I'm just putting it in order to get out at 30 cents if I get a little bit more decay. Love to see about 49.40. So, Chad, when you were looking to add and you couldn't get five bucks, why not go with the straddle? Yeah, I looked at that. It was not, it was centered too much to the downside, or it wasn't centered. It was sitting on the downside too you want much it for closer me. to a strike whenever you get in a straddle. Yeah, I want it closer to like that center, you know. Because I did look at that. That's the next thing I looked at. And I still may end up getting in one. Let's see what price does here. I think if it can come down to 49.40, I might get out of half of my, or 20% of my, which would be half my contracts of my number two. I'm already out of, I'm already out of half on my number one. So uh, you get out of that 20% is, is, is really the key. <clears throat> so for those of you who have been trading the Wooga 10 wide, no stop, are you, uh, are you just holding that till the end of the day? Or are you taking profits? I, for some reason, on my back test, I have no profit taking, but on my bot, I had it set up to take profits of 50%. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do on that one.
I didn't trade any NTT Kelvin today. I was I was away from my computer midday. So I didn't take any. So that would have been So yeah, around uh <clears throat> yeah, two thirty Eastern, correct. That's when I would have, yep. Not what I want. SPX still popping up a little bit. Yep. Need a pullback. Wuga, you've just been holding that till 352. That's how Wuga does it. That's how I do it. I've been meaning to uh to try that one out. So this is my this is my first one. So figured it's a good day to try it out. Let's take, I'm going to take a look at the straddle again. This price looks like it's going to continue to push up. 49.50. Just see what it looks like here. Oh, yeah, stopped out for sure on this push. Wow. Would not expect anything less. See what the fifty straddle looks 49, like. Forty nine, forty seven. Looks like trade stewards having some issues again. My position keeps disappearing and then reappearing. All right, so I'm on the 4950 straddle. Got fill for 690 and 30 points wide. So that would be my power hour number three. Oh, that's what I was asking too, Wuga. So you do have a profit target of 50%? I was I was thinking you said you held it all the way to 352. Only if you don't hit your profit target, though. 
Bingo. All right, got it. All right, so I need to update my bot, my Wooga bot. Yeah, it's definitely, uh, that's what I liked about these morning ones too. Like I could just put those on and not really have to worry. The problem is it's, you know, it's going to be pretty difficult to scale up size or something like that. All right, SPX poked up to about 49.50. We'll back a couple. VIX still near lows of day at See what's going on in the uh, sector world here today. Regional banks down, semiconductors down, tech down, everything else green. Well, that's interesting. ARC is up uh, mostly because of Bitcoin, I guess. But usually if uh, ARC is up, the NASDAQ is green. Oh, never mind. That's... That's the Bitcoin ETF. Adobe down, AMD down, MU down, NVIDIA down. Yes, yeah, all the all the semiconductors down. P 
PLTR up 32% after earnings. Roku up 6%. All right. Price just kind of cooperating at the moment. I'm just keep doing that. What are you on the 50 straddle? Yep. <clears throat> on the 50 straddle. And I've already gotten out of 20% of my power hour number one. I still got some of that left. I got three contracts left. It was a really nice day of price moving up until that one drop off about one o'clock. Back down to 46, 45. No, don't drop. worry. Yeah, don't don't need these big, big pushes and drops. They can just be little. That's only two points. <laughs> <laughs> I know. You must have your chart blown up. It looks big. Yeah. No, that was a quick little, just a little quick drop. Gold never did quite, it did that little flash through all-time highs, and then it never did quite get back up there like I thought it would. Just hang out around there. That'd be good. A little bit higher, maybe.
I got out of one of my morning trades for 40 cents. Need some good theta decay here now. Hopefully see that starting to really kick in. I've got an order to get out of 40% of my power hour number one at 415. It's currently at 525. And I've got my power hour number three straddle. I got an order at 550 to close to 20%. It's currently at 660. The Wuga is up 13%. I'm not sure that's good for drinking, Mauro. That looks more like a mushrooms thing. Michael Todd hitting 20%. There you go. Wish I could say the same about my power number two is closed out. I've also, I forgot about, <clears throat> I've also got a two, three double calendar from yesterday. It's up about almost 600. And that one will come off tomorrow. A little over 35 minutes to go. That's far enough.
I got filled on uh, 40% of my power number one. Had a good conversation with Meech the other day for podcast. If you haven't had a chance, check that out. That was fun. All right, closed out my other morning one for 50 cents. Now all I've got left is the Wooga. I'm going to have to figure out what this Wooga is. <laughs> the Wooga special. It's just a uh, 40 Delta, 10 wide, no stop. Iron, what, Strangle? Iron Condor? Yeah, Iron, Iron Condor. Iron Condor. Yeah. Yeah. 10 wide. Gives you a little little leeway on price to jump around without getting stopped out, but your risk is pretty limited because it's only 10 wide. Gotcha. Well, I'd feel a little better if it would come up here get a little closer to that 49.50 now that I'm out of 40% of power hour number one. I mean, this machine owes me. So did you get stopped twice today without 20%? Uh, yes, two stops. So, well, yeah. Yep, two stops. So really my, you know, a green day or a red day really is determined on this power hour number three, honestly. Okay, it's kind of looking that way. Uh, Cody, the uh, the morning trades, I wouldn't necessarily call them Wugas. <laughs> but I would, I've just been playing around with um, just doing five wide wings. And so I did a couple of those this morning. I took one at the open. And then I took another one as soon as it flushed down. And so... 174 million to the sell side is the early indication. 
So I took one at the open, took another one when it flushed down and then just not <clears> using <throat> a stop because they're minimal, you know, it's defined risk with just five wide. And so I just closed both of those out for almost max profit. You can get, you can, you can cover the vast majority of the expected move for the day. And so that's what I was playing for. I wasn't going to be in front of my computer for a couple hours midday. So I just put those on just kind of testing it out. I've tried to do a bunch of back testing around it, White Tiger, but I couldn't find anything that was anything decent. So on those, so my first one that I entered at the open, yeah, I was trying to get it. I was trying to get around three bucks per side on the shorts. And then the second one I got. I skewed that one a little bit, but average three bucks on the shorts. Yeah, the wings were five wide. Sorry, I know that's confusing. We're, you know, a lot of times we're talking about the width between the shorts. In this case, I was, I was talking about the width between the shorts and the longs. So the wings were only five wide. Wuga is currently up 37%. Oh yeah, they were iron condors. Yep. So I'm on the one day, one DTE cycle here, but if this was today, I'd be looking at like three bucks and then buying five wide, three bucks. Between, yeah, around three bucks. So it looks something like that. Uh, it's either a paper trading thing, or as soon as you put in the order, Naughty Dog price jumped and you got a better fill, which... That happens in real life sometimes, but I'd say most likely it was a paper trading fill. My Wuga is the, uh, I'm on the 4940 puts, 4945 calls are my shorts. We'll move down to 42. What's coming in six minutes, Daedalus? Oh, yeah, I'm currently at 42.
Depends on Lasoza depends on if there's any value in the longs. So for example, um <clears throat> mine. Yeah, there's still a 15 cent bid on the or excuse me, 10 cent bid on the calls and a 15 cent bid on the puts. So I would I'd be closing all four. If it gets down to a zero bid on the longs, then you'll only be able to, you only want to mess with the shorts. Yeah, and that's what, and Trade Steward does that automatically. So if there's a bid, it'll automatically close the longs. Hey, Tom, there's a uh, trade plan channel in the calendars category. Just posted it there for you. It's right, ab uh, right above the trade channel for calendars. Still hanging around 42% and a little more K to come in. Yeah, I've had I've had positions close and then 30 minutes later price will make a move and it'll close <laughs> close another leg for 5 cents. Is that what you're talking about, Uga? Yeah. Yeah, cuz I'll get filled and I'll be like, "What was that?" I have to search my monitor to figure it out. I would take a bounce up to about 49.45 even. Oh, I see. So it should no bid, but you got filled at five cents. Yeah. No, well, you just made five bucks. Minus commission. Forty six percent getting close. My order is at two forty. It's currently trading at two sixty. Need a little bouncy bounce here. Twenty minutes to go. One hundred seventy four million to the sell side still. Love to get out of the Wooga trade and then have a monster MOC number to end the day.
They up there now. Forty-eight percent. I was trading at two fifty. I need two forty. <clears throat> it's knocking it's knocking on my 240 door i like for it to knock on the 49 45 door You're talking about the two, three double calendar, Neil? Yeah, it's up about 500. If you get a little bounce tomorrow, they'll turn into a nice one. I'm going to have to get into these boogas in the future. Mine's sitting on my order, but has not filled yet. Oh, I'm not going to do a new two, three today. I don't want my, I've already got some longs on a uh, Friday, but there's zero news. So I didn't want to add any more. Well, it bounced away from my order now. Now I'm 40 cents away. I'd let it just sit right in there now. Coming back. It's coming back to get me. Should be filling. There we go. Wooga. All right. Okay, that was, a two, that was my up. two lot test. Next, tomorrow I'm going ten, uh, 100 lots. <laughs> now I need to get back up to 49, 45. I got out of sixty percent and I'm out of my power hour number one. But as soon as you increase size need. is when you get hurt. So you guys I'm loading up, so just be aware. <laughs> kidding, kidding for those of you who can't sense sarcasm. All right, so 15 minutes to go, five minutes till the final MOC number. So I need if the MOC number is not over 3 billion, we'll probably sign off here in about five minutes. I need a 1445. 1450 right in there. Nice, naughty dog. Four 
four for four on NTT. Nice, Cosmo. Yeah, it was a good day to trade those. Stay up there, buddy. Stay up there. Right at 14, at 49, 45. So I made a couple, few shekels for not being in front of my computer most of the day. So that's not bad. My two AMs hit, my Wooga hit. Like to see some calendars pop tomorrow. SPX climbing a little bit. Got filled on my 50 straddle. 20%. This is posted in the uh, trade plans channel, but just as a reminder, Chad's presentation on Thursday, 30 minutes after the market closes. All right, MOC number coming out here in about 30 seconds. Sixty five million sell side. Nothing, nothing burger. All right, all. So, Chad, what do you have left? I've just got, I've already done 20% of that uh, 50 straddle. So that's it. Like, I'm going to get 40% here if we can just kind of stay around about right where it's at. So that's all I got. All right, all. Let's sign off. Uh, live stream tomorrow. Tomorrow is the 7th. So Chad will be streaming live in the morning for Mighty 90 and Runners. And then we'll be back for Power Hour Live. All right, all. Have a good night. Talk to you soon.